Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. So your key to the week this week is the world card, your community, your people, who are you attached to, why are you attached to them, how you are attached to them is all gonna be a big focus for this week. Another thing that I will say to you is, it looks like you're reaching a completion point this week, all right? So in some way, shape or form, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna be like a like there's gonna be something that, some door that closes, maybe some place or some part of your life that comes to a completion. And when it does, it's gonna give you license to move forward in a new direction or potentially in a direction that actually feels like one you've chosen versus one that is happening to you. Um, either which way, I actually really like the world card. It does suggest to me that whatever's happening this week will have global, um, not consequences, but like ripples, right? We've got this big, powerful full moon lunar eclipse that's taking place on the <clears throat> eighth of the week. Uh, so literally like right at the beginning, basically. Uh, so you're gonna feel this one coming in as you're watching this. I'm sure you can probably feel the emotions and all the rest of it building up. This kind of suggests that there's a lot going on in your connections and how you connect to people. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for this, you have, or should I say, for your actions and interactions with the world at large, you've got the Seven of Wands. So this could be that you're fighting for a place amongst a new, um, maybe like a new set of peers. Maybe this is, because remember the Seven of Wands can be fights, arguments, disputes, but it's usually where you have to really stand your ground with something. And because you've got this with the World card, this could be you fighting for a new place, fighting for a new, um, you know, whatever it is, whether it's a new job, whether it's a new contract, whether it's to become a peer in a certain industry. Like there's something this week that suggests your actions are all very much geared to fighting for your community or fighting to be a part of something. It's almost like, I don't think it's a case that you're having to defend yourself this week, but I do feel like you're gonna have to, it's almost like, you know when you see people at a concert and they have to kind of muscle their way through the crowd to get to the front? This kind of feels like that. It's almost like you're working your way to something, but you're having to really work very hard to get noticed in that space or in that arena. For your communications and conversations, you have the Ace of Cups. What a beautiful energy. So communication is something that you guys do very well anyway. But with this, it really does feel for me like there's a softer approach this week. So how you're speaking to people, it might be soft, but it's firm, right? So it's kind of like that whole juxtaposition. I kind of get the feel as well, because remember you're a Libra, so usually you're balancing things out. Whereas this week, I actually feel like you're doing this, like you're synthesizing those energies, the energy of hard, but the energy of soft as well. So what does this mean? It means like a gentle but firm application of your words in some way, shape or form. This is likely to be some really good news about something that maybe you've already worked very hard for. Maybe for some of you as well, this could literally show up, let's say you get a promotion and somebody in the background's like, well, I don't understand why it's you, da, 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 and you're kind of like, no, no, hang on a minute. I worked for this, this all me right here. You don't want none of this. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe, just maybe, this is you having to really demonstrate, well, um, you know, if you wanna call that sort of stuff out, let me tell you why it's me. Let me show you, let me demonstrate to you. For those of you uh, that are just starting new jobs as well, so if you're employed by somebody else and you're just starting a new job, you're hitting the ground very much running and you are gonna have to really, you're gonna have to prove your stripes quickly, all right? For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this could see you among new peers. Maybe there are new students coming in. Maybe there are new ideas or new methodologies that are being introduced that are, I almost wanna say like that are revolutionary in some way. So this could be that you're getting, or you know, if you're a student, you could be privy to new information that is just coming into your area of study or expertise, like just now. So it's like you're getting this while it's fresh, so you're able to really adapt to it. Um, or maybe you have to adjust and adapt to it, all right? For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, or people that work for themselves, um, I really like that. It is potentially that you are making a connection this week, but again, it's something that you're having to fight for. It could be like, you know, 
like let's say this is a client, let's say this is uh, some business, let's say it's like something that you're going for, you get the jump on your competition, you're getting it, right? It's gonna happen for you. That much is evident with the Ace of Cups but you are having to prove your worth, prove your, you know, pe you know, they say test your metal, you're having to prove your metal straight away. For those of you that are um, retired and no longer working, I think this is actually a really good week to rest and recuperate um, when it comes to this kind of thing, because the other thing with the Seven of Wands in the actions and options, I'd probably want to see it here, but just in case, remember I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, I can't give you that kind of advice, but this can sometimes speak to your immune system, so just keep that in mind. For your love and relations, you've got the Sun card, so nothing wrong in the love sector, partner, relationship, it's all going on and it's all beautiful. It may be that that Seven of Wands, maybe you're having to, maybe you're fighting on behalf of the partner in some regard, maybe you're, um, not having to show up for them, but maybe you see something and you're like, no, no, I'm gonna step in here, I'm gonna intervene. But either which way, the love life is good this week. For those of you that are single, I mean, if you're meeting somebody, it will be in the new community. It will be when you reach that next level, when you get the promotion. It's like, you know, when you take that step of elevation, when you get to that new plateau, it's like there's somebody there that could potentially be waiting for you. Uh, this does suggest as well for a lot of you that there's some kind of tra travel with your significant other that you're looking at. And then you've got the hanged man for your money and materials. So when it comes to big financial purchases, this is probably not the best week for it. Um, I will also say as well, when it comes to health, the hanged man card can be your hormones and it can also be um, toxicity. So I will say to you, just because of these two cards, really do look after your immune system this week. Maybe go to the doctor, get yourself checked out for any sort of, um, it's like a system overload of something. You know, it's like when they say like, if you have too much sugar, obviously that's bad for you or it causes a toxicity in the body. So just be mindful of that. When it comes to your home and environment, the hanged man for home and environment, this might be a time where you're seeing it more idealistic than, than it actually is. Doesn't mean that you're suddenly gonna wake up and say like, oh, you know, I hate my home right now or whatever, but you might be looking at it and saying, oh, you know, maybe it's not that bad when, you know, just a week ago you were like, I need to get out of here. This kind of tells me that when it comes to the home or the living situation, I would play it by ear. For those of you that, are, and then when it comes to your money, your finances and your resources, there is new business, there is new work coming in, but the proceeds to that, it's either that that money is going back into, it looks like you're investing it back into the business for some, if you work for yourself, uh, for those of you that work for somebody else, maybe all you're seeing at the moment is, okay, this is a lot of work, right? And you're so focused on that that it's like you're not really seeing the financial benefits at the moment. I don't even think this is gonna be on your mind. I think this is gonna be so busy when it comes to work, career, interpersonal stuff, and you really trying to prove yourself that I don't think anything else kind of really registers, apart from whoever this may be, if you are single and ready to mingle. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.